In today's video, we are going to be proving this, that n minus 1 always divides n to the k minus 1 whenever n is greater than or equal to 2 and k is any positive integer. So when going about this proof, you might want to think of the binomial theorem. And the binomial theorem I have right here, when you have x plus y to some exponent, the expansion of that will look like something like this. This is what the binomial theorem is. So let us move on to the actual proof now. And it might seem confusing as to how we can use the binomial theorem, but let's see. Just to reiterate, our, what we're trying to prove is n minus 1 divides n to the k minus 1. And our restrictions are n is greater than or equal to 2, and k is positive. Now, we can manipulate this a little bit to create a binomial. n essentially is just n minus 1 plus 1. The ones will cancel out, so that is true. If, since this is true, we can also say that n to the k equals n minus 1 plus 1 all to the kth power. This is just, again, some algebra. Now we have created a binomial expansion. You can think of n minus 1 to be our x, and you can think of 1 to be our y in a typical x plus y to the k binomial. Now we can use this to our advantage. See here, every single, in the expansion, every single term has some exponent of x in it. And in our case, x is n minus 1, right? Every single term has that, right? It ends here, x to the 1. But here we have x to the 0. So essentially, we have no n minus 1 in this term. So how do we know that this whole thing is still divisible by n minus 1 when we have a random plus 1 here? Because this, this whole thing will equal to plus 1 since y is 1. We have a plus 1 here. But we can remember our original proof, n to the k minus 1. So here, n to the k equals n minus 1 times some integers if we factor out n minus 1. But at the end, we have a random plus 1 that we want to get rid of. Remember, our original thing that we're trying to prove is n to the k minus 1. So if we minus 1 on both sides, the 1s will easily cancel out. And we can see that n to the k minus 1 will equal n minus 1 times some integer. Since n to the 1 times some integer, this means that whatever that value is, whatever n to the k minus 1 is, is definitely divisible by n minus 1. So therefore, n minus 1 divides n to the k minus 1. And this is our proof right here using the binomial theorem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe.